Hey hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to take a close look at this Sega Dreamcast. We're going to do this unboxing together, but also going to modify it. So stay tuned and let's go. <laughs> So as starting to get older, I realized how much I missed out when it comes to the Sega Dreamcast. Don't get me wrong, I did got myself back in the day one, I think it was a couple of years later after I got myself on PlayStation 2. And back in the day, I was a big fan of games like Crazy Taxi, Sonic Adventure 2, Dead Alive 2, that was also the PlayStation 2. Nevertheless, there were so many cool things to it. But this video, let's do a quick unboxing and modding the Dreamcast that comes from Japan. So when you're looking at the Sega Dreamcast, they are quite expensive to buy nowadays, especially when it comes to the PAL version over here. So the Japan edition is a quite interesting one because it's way cheaper. Of course, we are limited when it comes to certain games you want to collect. But there are some loopholes that we can use for playing different kind of regions. Not going to need it simply because I already own a self like a PAL system. But inside the box we do get ourselves a free copy of a game. I'm just going to be honest, oh, is this actually a game? To be honest I have no idea what it is. <laughs> just going to be honest with you, like this thing was including this, doesn't matter. Let's see what we're going to get when it comes to the paper. No toilet paper over here, of course. That's only the stuff that we're going to get with the cheap products from AliExpress. But we do have like a lot of cool things. Something you don't, sometimes you don't really see these things anymore, especially when it comes to the PAL systems. That they do have the box and even some cardboard, or, but they don't have the other stuff like the manuals. So in here, we're going to find ourselves like a very filthy, very nasty one. Yeah, so this thing is not in perfect condition, so we're going to quickly clean it up to see if this is going to be helping. Ooh, in here we're going to find even more discs, so let's see what we're going to get. I have no idea what this stuff all is. Dream Passport 3, okay, that is clear. Another Dream Passport and the Dream Passport, okay. So yeah, that's the stuff that we can't really use. It's kind of cool that it's with it, but in here I think we will find the controller. Alright, so here we're having the power cable. We're not going to use it because we do have like a different connection here. And let's take close the controller. The controller, but I know, is, has been replaced. The previous owner did told me that the original controller that came with it was absolutely completely destroyed. So it's great to have like a very nice looking controller with this. And in here we're even going to get ourselves like the connection wire for the phone. But that's not something we not, cannot really use anymore. And I totally forgot the cable. It just comes with a normal AV cable. There are a lot of different solutions, so let's talk about that by the way. But the system itself is in really rough shape. It's not completely like yellow that I've seen before, but when you're looking at the overall quality, it's really filthy. So one of the easy ways to fix it, I have these like cleaning cloth. They call them like makeup cleaners, but these things smell very nice and they clean very well. And the first thing that we're going to do is like clean it with this wet cloth and just Making some ASMR video, mm, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. I've been cleaning for let's say a couple of minutes or so. The only thing I need to do is basically like boom. Just cleaning the inside of the disc tray. Not going to use it with a wet cloth. You can see this thing is already filthy, so I'm going to get myself a new one. But before I'm going to do this, we're going to remove the top shell. And I'm also hoping that the laser unit is still working. Not only do of the age, but when you're looking at this device, oh boy, like there is a lot of filth, and it's also possible my laser unit has become so filthy that it doesn't work. So tearing down the Sega Dreamcast is just super easy because you just need to have yourself a Phillips screwdriver and you just need to remove a couple of screws. I shown you I removed the modem itself, but the thing is like we need to do this anyway simply because we're going to remove the PCU. I do have myself a European PCU laying around, but I don't want to use this. We're just going to use the one from Pit Function, it's called or Retro Skater, basically the suit. So far I know the same company on AliExpress selling these kits. Alright, so let's remove the final screw, let's open it up, let's get this thing removed and let's clean everything up on the inside. So this is basically the PCU kit I'm going to use, they are not super expensive and I find it super convenient. They're just going to use a 12 volt power supply in combination with an extender and of course the PCB that you need to assemble in here. That's it, you can just plug it in. And that is the thing that we're going to do because it's so much more convenient just to use it like this. One other thing I wanted to do is clean the buttons because oh man they are really filthy. 
Okay, so one of the bigger improvements that we're going to get is the power and the... <laughs> yeah, they both have been cleaned because absolutely like it was really looking horrible. So this looks much better and much cleaner. Of course, this is not like super, everything is super, super cleaned, but as I think it's just so much better now. Next thing that we're going to do is replacing the PCU before we're going to powering on. I cannot use it as is, so we're just going to remove it. We're going to remove the couple of parkers that's holding everything in place. Oh, there we go. So when it comes to the PSU, I think it's one of the better solutions. And again, like I can replace it with an European old power supply. But let's be honest, these things are quite a little old now. The capacitor still looks very nice. All of them look very well. But it will be a matter of time if these things are going to be prone to failing. It's not going to be tomorrow, but it will come eventually. So let's very gently like lift it up. This clip needs to be removed. I'll be very careful. There we go uh, we can keep the plastic we can remove the plastic i think we're not going to need this anymore and what i love about these things you just, just plug it in it's super easy another thing is that we have even like option for adding new fans if you want to do upgrades there are many different things you can do with this so we're just going to plug it in here that's so easy okay let's go and be checking it out there we go slide it in we're only going to need one original screw yep there we go and just to keep this thing in place attempt number two and there we go let's tighten it up all right that's it i need to be very careful that it doesn't push this pcb way too far down the next thing that we need to do is getting the extension cord because this thing is going to be in here click it in here Sometimes you need to reassemble the nuts and of course this piece of plastic. I think there was like differences between the plastic, so double check it when you're going to auto this one. Alright, so let's slide it in. Alright, so basically one of the first part has been assembled. The next thing we need to do is plug in the main board over here. And everything has been assembled. That's it! Okay, next thing that we can do is basically like getting a little bit better like wiring going on over here. We can just mess around with it if you want to. Don't push it too hard, but that's it. Okay, everything has been cleaned. It doesn't look like perfect, but it's always better than the filthy like case it was before. All right, next thing we need to do is closing it up. Be very gentle. If it doesn't blow up, we're going to need to double check it because something is wrong. Something is not going right. There we go. Another thing I also do is cleaning the cables. Look at this, how filthy my cloth is. It's a brand new cloth only for this freaking cable. That's the thing I just wanted to show you all. It's like cleaning cables is not a crazy idea. I want to share this moment of truth with you guys. Powering on. The laser did move. Double check. Yep. That's great. System is booting up. Because some of the systems can have a problem of not booting up at all. I didn't replace the battery in the inside. This is not a full mod, but maybe in the future I will just replace this thing. The controller doesn't do anything. Okay, there we go. Open it up. It boots up. Controller works. Let's put in my game. Disc is starting to spin. I can hear it. so is this going to be a luck do i have like a working dreamcast with a great good working laser that would be magnificent come on and there we go my friends let's play a little bit let's have some fun before i'm going to cut off this video i'm going to give this thing like an an hour or so of test running before we're going to play another game all right let's take a close look at some gameplay the system has been running for, I think, a couple of hours now. And everything seems to be working just fine. I have this game in my collection called Expendable. I'm just gonna be honest, I have never played this game before, so let's try it for once. And the reason why is because I had this Sega Dreamcast laying around 
I did it to do I just needed to do the unboxing and modifying with you guys. You get some control vibes over here. There are many ways to play your Sega Dreamcast to modify it, but I just want to have one in the collection for my Japan collection. It's pretty damn cool to have one complete in box. Let me know in the comments what kind of games do you really love to play on Sega Dreamcast or did you never own one? Maybe this is a very cool opportunity. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell and it would be great to see you in the next video.